to introduce uh, my friend, um, Edgar Garcia, um, uh, poet and critic. And drinker. And what? And drinker. And drinker. <laughs> and mystic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I could go see it. Uh, thank you, Josh, for such a an impassioned beer. It was quite dope. So, uh, I'm going to finally read this poem about pilgrims that I've uh, been uh, tempting my dear friends uh, uh, with and teasing them about uh, for several weeks now. We've been at a couple of readings, and uh, I keep saying, oh, this poem about pilgrims is uh, uh, too long, and I'm not really like interested in reading it. So I read this poem about the apocalypse, and this poem about the apocrypha. Uh, and now I'm going to read the pilgrim poem, because uh, uh, the thing about uh, the pilgrims is they were actually... Um, you have to realize that we're living in a post-apocalyptic uh, time, right? Uh, they believed uh, that all hell had broken loose and um, the Indians uh, were uh, 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 the devils upon the earth, right? Uh, so this is uh, called Merglip, which is pilgrim spelled backward, uh, because this is about my relationship to New England, right? Where the pilgrims had lived and uh, where I arrived as uh, a kind of pilgrim uh, to, uh, you know, New England life. Where all devils have broken loose. Mayn't thou now see how a person could go nuts here? Errant and for years out of steady application, hardly formulated and with many sentences, which I had not, I wish, omitted that others may profit more fully into the wilderness, though for whom? Some deeper configuration eludes not the tree in the field newly fallen, white's roots all open to the windy rain. But for whom came to its blake bark of fark like paper reams shaved, seemed it a form maintain the matter, a kind of clarity not constituted by he that dispatched, although who in doing so unflinchingly did what they for the logic to top a hill did to trim from the landscape a collection of texts and by text of habit to take back that they not lay their bones in a devilish land. They, with the eyes of all humanity upon them, thought more than a colony their tale to deliver the workings of holy man from the edge of bewilderment, to bring into being the glory, the simple good of functional governance, to prove an ordering hand upon the basic earthly footing of disarray. But diabolical misfortunes caught them to discover thoroughly that nobody watches you, shipwreck, troop, no audience to bait its breath at the oncoming phrase, no heart that swam upward for the freshly sought out by words accomplished like mites to a hollow log with no task to guide them but the log and bond and boating the enterprise of wisdom the written enzyme the covenant the lead